Alright, welcome back. I finally get to make another video. Uh, it's Thursday afternoon. We're going to play This is the Only Level, Adventures in Singularity, by our favorite programmer, JMTB02, who also made Achievement Unlocked, which is one of my most uh, popular videos. It's got one of the uh, highest view counts I have. Um, it gives you the option right at the beginning to play or continue. Continue will come in later. And uh, I've played through this before. I'll erase my game again just to make sure it's totally erased. And here we go. Um, there's only one level, so we'll never get past level one. However, there are multiple stages to level one. And each stage has got a little hint for you down here as to how you are going to make it through. The first hint is just to use the arrow keys. And much like Achievement Unlocked, left and right move left and right and up jumps so we'll head over here hit the button to lower the little wall and then much like mario head into the pipe to beat the level not always straightforward if you hit the right button you walk left so just get this little obvious trick out of the way uh, think before doing and that is because think before doing ah here we are. There is no wall there. So the first two levels, I think this should have been a slightly further uh, trick because when you hit the button, the wall pops up. We've only had two levels to establish that we need to hit the button. And so it's still new enough that uh, it's not. it didn't trick me the first time. In fact, I continuously forgot to hit the button on my first time through this game. Continuously. Alternate control scheme. The arrow keys are doing nothing at all. And uh, it didn't take but a second to figure out that you need to click the mouse. Whoa, I'm stuck. I died. I died for clipping. Get over there. Free floating. You stay in the air for quite some time. A bit bouncy. Whee! Here, I think... No. Actually, it looks like jumping makes me bounce a little bit lower. Yeah. Ball. Uh, dull appearances. I didn't know what this was. First of all, my jump button is not working. So you head this way, and you can't get through here, so I'll just kill myself. Boom. The spikes are dull, and so instead of killing you, they bounce you up. It makes perfect sense. That's what we call logic. Candy Stripes of Doom. Uh, this level and many of the other levels in the game, since I'm playing through it again now, they're changing colors. The last time I was here, um, there was like a, a light green color and a hot pink color. And here I've got sort of ruddy caramel and an, a cyan. Well, this caramel color um, does not kill us. Despite what I just did right there, and in fact I do that quite often, uh, the blue color kills us. I don't know why um, I'm constantly able to do this. I continuously jump right there, and uh, I'm able to make it. The first time I played through this game, this was by far the hardest level for me to get because of these couple jumps here where you have to... Uh, be very careful where you land. Ugh. I don't know why it lets you cheat over these two right there. Alright, there. Clear it. Uh, arrow control. Again, our arrows are not working. And is this the more difficult one? Yeah. Here you have to be careful. Um, put your mouse on the screen, and as you'll notice, just little bits of left and right movement make your elephant go far. Click to jump. Alright, get back on here. There. No. Uh. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. And then just run over there. That's a difficult one for me to control. Here's the headwind level. If you try walking, you're not going to get very far. When you jump, you will go a bit further. Uh, but you have to constantly hold the right button. Otherwise, you're going to go flying so far. Ah. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Jump! There we are. 
not gonna do my jump, jump, jump. Whoa, clip me to the top and I don't die, but if I try to clip, I die. Get over here, get over there, all right. Stage 11, no returns, no refunds. Here, um, I didn't know what this level did the first time until I got over here and I tried it. You can't walk to the left. And uh, this was, I think, the first level where I remembered to hit the button. So it didn't actually occur to me. Most of the time I missed the button, I'd have to go back and then I would have gotten stuck. Stay low. You can't jump. The right button won't let you jump. So you just walk real far, and you make it. Um, left, right, march. Here the up button doesn't let you jump, and if you hit right, it doesn't do anything. If you hit left, you have to hit right and left, back and forth. And the game will do the up and down motion for you. You just have to alternate back and forth. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right! Stage 14. One leap of faith. You only get one jump in this level. Yeah. Because now the up button doesn't work at all. Time to refresh. This stage... You cannot beat it. What? Oh, crud. Okay, that stage... Um, I guess when I erased my game, it didn't erase that part. Initially, when you go in there, uh, hitting the button and everything won't work. You have to actually refresh the page. And I thought erasing my game would fix it, but it didn't. Um, so I was able to just walk through the stage like I just did. But when you play the game and you get to that stage, you have to refresh the page. Um, and that's why there's the continue button in the main menu. Keep hitting it. Quite the obvious clue here. All you do is just jump. Hold the up button for a little while, and you will jump on the button. We have here, worried about nothing. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm gonna try... No, the spikes still kill me. So I don't know what uh, nothing I'm worried about on that stage. I still haven't figured out that. This is the collapsing stage. This stage is difficult because you are constantly falling. Um, I don't think I can make... I can win. I'm gonna have to die. Yeah. You have to be quick, too, because you start falling through the floor as soon as the level starts, and that was stupid of me. You need to get... <laughs> How many times am I going to die around those same spikes? Just fall through the floor there to get past the door. Hitting the button will not move it. Here's my favorite level. And if I've said another level is my favorite, I'm lying. I love this level. My old computer used to uh, actually play games this way. You just constantly clip, uh, not clip, you would constantly flicker in and out, it couldn't render everything. And I love it how it falls. And there's actually gravity in here, because you'll notice that he uh, accelerates as he falls. He doesn't fall at the same speed the entire time. Do you remember, here you have to beat the level um, without any help on the screen. I don't know why my brain's not working just now. Okay, this is uh, the last level for this video, because I'm going to have to break this up. I don't think I'll beat it in time. Uh, you have two different color stripes here. Apparently, the cyan-colored stripes are uh, up-centered gravity, and the brown ones are down-centered gravity. So, you head over here. Nope, get up there. Okay, so you have to time this. Well, ah, that was not timing it. Fall, hit the button, up, no, nope, that missed it. This was the second hardest stage for me when I played the game. There we go. Now I need to get up here, fall most of the way, fall again. Okay, and here we have this wonderful, awesome, handy pause feature, which we will now use and uh, finish off the video. The second video is going to be real short, apparently, because we've only got... Well, we're at stage 22, so who knows.